Indian Institute of Technology BHU Varanasi abbreviated IIT BHU Varanasi or simply IIT BHU is a public engineering institution located in Varanasi Uttar Pradesh India Founded in 1919 as the Banaras Engineering College, it became the Institute of Technology, Banaras Hindu University in 1968. It was designated an Indian Institute of Technology in 2012. IIT BHU Varanasi has 14 departments and three interdisciplinary schools. History IIT BHU Varanasi has formerly been known as the Banaras Engineering College Banco, the College of Mining and Metallurgy the College of Technology and the Institute of Technology, Banaras Hindu University its establishment is intimately linked with that of the Banaras Hindu University The first convocation ceremony at BHU was held on 19 January 1919. The Chancellor of the University, Maharaja Krishnaraja Wadiyar of Mysore who had come to preside over and address the convocation, performed the opening ceremony of the Banaras Engineering College workshop buildings. An artisan course was started on of February 1919. BHU has the credit of first starting degree classes in mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, metallurgy and pharmaceutics, thanks to the foresight of its founder, P.T., Maiden Mohan Malvia. The Department of Geology was started under Banco in 1920. Courses in mining and metallurgy were introduced by the Geology Department. The Department of Industrial Chemistry was started in July, 1921. In 1923, mining and metallurgy were established as separate departments and in 1944, they were raised to the status of a college forming the College of Mining and Metallurgy .BHU was the first Indian university to introduce the study of pharmaceutical chemistry. This initiative was taken in 1932 when a new group of subjects for the BSc. examination consisting of a chemistry, b botany with pharmacognosa and c pharmaceutical studies was started in 1934 and in 1935 a new three-year program leading to the degree of Bachelor of Pharmacy was introduced. The science departments of the university were under the Central Hindu College. In September 1935, a new College of Science was constituted comprising the departments of Physics, Chemistry, Botany, Zoology, Geology, Pharmaceutical Chemistry, Industrial Chemistry and Ceramics. In 1937, the Department of Glass Technology also came into existence under this college. The year 1939 witnessed the establishment of a separate College of Technology techno comprising the departments of Industrial Chemistry, Pharmaceutics, Ceramics and Glass Technology. In 1968 Banco, Techno and MINMET were merged into one and the Institute of Technology it BHU was established integrating the departments of Mechanical Engineering, Electrical Engineering, Civil and Municipal Engineering, Mining Engineering, Metallurgical Engineering, Chemical Engineering and Technology, Silicate Technology and Pharmaceutics. The Department of Silicate Technology subsequently became the Department of Ceramic Engineering. A separate Department of Electronics Engineering was also established. The departments of Applied Physics, Applied Mathematics and Applied Chemistry were established in 1985. 
The earlier system of regional admission based on merit lists was replaced in 1972 by admission through Indian Institute of Technology Joint Entrance Examination for undergraduate courses and Graduate Aptitude Test in Engineering for postgraduate courses. In the 10th meeting of IIT Council in 1972, it was also proposed to convert the then ITBHU into an IIT and a committee was appointed by IIT Council for the same but because of political reasons, the desired conversion could not be achieved then. In 2003, committees constituted by MHRD Professors Joshi and Anand Krishnan committees had recommended for the conversion of the Institute into an Indian Institute of Technology IIT. On 17 July 2008, the Government of India issued a press release granting, in principle approval for taking over the Institute of Technology, Banaras Hindu University, a constituent unit of the Banaras Hindu University, a central university, its conversion into an Indian Institute of Technology and integrating it with the IIT system in the country. The BHU Executive Council approved the proposal of the HRD Ministry to convert ITBHU to IIT BHU Varanasi, retaining academic and administrative ties to BHU. On 4 August 2010 a bill seeking to amend the Institutes of Technology Act 1961 to declare ITBHU and IIT was introduced in the Lok Sabha by Minister of State for HRD, D. Parandaswari. The Lok Sabha passed the Institutes of Technology Amendment Act, 2011 on 24 March 2011 and the Raja Sabha on 30 April 2012, thereby formalizing the IIT status of the Institute. The bill was signed by the President of India on 20 June 2012 and notified in the Gazette on 21 June. Topic: Academics. Topic: Undergraduate program. IIT BHU Varanasi offers four-year instructional programs for the degree of Bachelor of Technology B Tech and five-year programs for Integrated Dual Degree IDD. The IDD program offers both B.Tech. and M.Tech. degrees. Admission to all programs is expressly through the joint entrance examination conducted by the Indian Institutes of Technology. Earlier half of the intake for pharmaceutical sciences was through G and the other half through BHUPMT. But after the college was converted into an IIT, intake for B.Tech., and the IDD in Pharmaceutical Sciences now Pharmaceutical Engineering and Technology is exclusively through joint entrance exam. <laughs> Postgraduate program Postgraduate courses offer Master of Technology M. Tech, and Ph.D. degrees. Admissions to the M. Tech program are made through the Graduate Aptitude Test in Engineering GATE, conducted jointly by Indian Institute of Science and Indian Institutes of Technology. Admission The admission of students to the institute is through Indian Institute of Technology Joint Entrance Examination for undergraduate courses and Graduate Aptitude Test in Engineering for postgraduate courses. From 2013, admission to undergraduate programs is based on two-tier test called 1 Mains and 2 Advanced. 
In addition, the students qualifying through G advanced need to be in the top 20 percentile of the respective categories and or have secured 75% or above in the qualifying exam conducted by the boards of their respective state, UT. <laughs> Library facilities The institute has one main library along with many departmental libraries. These libraries house more than 100,000 books and subscribe to a large number of scientific and technical journals. Online access to these journals is also possible. All the students are provided with text book bank facilities where a certain number of books are issued to them for the semester. Apart from this, students also enjoy the access to the Central and Cyber Library of Banaras Hindu University. Topic: Student Life. Topic: Festivals. Technex is the annual Techno Management Festival of IIT BHU Varanasi. It has footsteps dating back to 1939. It brings together students from all over the country to participate in the celebration to exploit their knowledge and creative extravagance along with experts from the fields of both academia and industry. While events may vary from year to year, generally they include or are based on software development, model exhibition, astronomy, robotics, aero modeling, business and general awareness. Kshetra is the annual socio-cultural festival of the Institute. Started in 1982, it has been named Sparsh and Spandan in the past. Topic MCIIE Malvia Center for Innovation, Incubation and Entrepreneurship MCIIE was established in 2008. The objective of MCIIE is to produce successful firms that will leave the program financially viable. Incubator tenants not only benefit from business and technical assistance but also from official affiliation with the incubator, a supportive community with an entrepreneurial environment, direct link to entrepreneurs, and immediate networking and commercial opportunities with other tenant firms. The various programs under MCIIE include Open Learning Program in Entrepreneurship OLP, Entrepreneurship Development and Awareness Programs Technology Business Incubator TBI, sponsored by National Science and Technology Entrepreneurship Development Board, DST, New Delhi, MCIIE has some established startups incubated there like Internlelo, BridgeDots, etc. Rankings Among engineering colleges, IIT BHU Varanasi was ranked 19 by the National Institutional Ranking Framework in 2018 and 28 overall. It was ranked 9th among engineering colleges in India in 2017 by the week. Topic: Alumni. The IIT BHU Chronicle is a monthly e-magazine published by the IIT BHU Global Alumni Association. It was first published in May 2005. It provides an account of events at the institute as well as notable achievements of members of the alumni community. It also publishes news and articles, sourced from a number of published sources, stating recent developments around the world. The magazine is published around the 25th of each month. 
It is emailed to over 11,000 alumni, students and faculty of the Institute. Topic Notable alumni The Indian Institute of Technology BHU, Varanasi has had numerous notable alumni. Prem Saran Satsangi, leader of Radhaswami Faith, Dialba, Chairman Ace, Dei. Noted system scientist and physicist, ex-Dean IIT Delhi, ex-Vice-Chancellor, Dialba Educational Institute Thomas Anantharaman, one of the three-member team at IBM who developed IBM Deep Blue Supercomputer. Palikal Ajayan, a pioneering scientist in the field of carbon nanotubes. Kota Haranarayana, a Padma Shri awardee and distinguished scientist at DRDO. Narla Tata Rao, a Padma Shri awardee. Doyen of Power Sector in India, played a pivotal role in development of NTPC and Power Grid Corporation of India. Pacha Ramachandra Rao, renowned metallurgist, Shanti Swarup Bhatnagar Prize recipient and former Vice-Chancellor of Benares Hindu University. Pal Rama Rao, renowned scientist. Padma Shri, Padma Bhushan and Padma Vibhushan awardee. Akhlesh Laktakia, Charles Godfrey Binder endowed professor at Penn State University, USA and pioneer of sculptured thin films. Devesh Kapper, director at the Centre for the Advanced Study of India and professor of political science at the University of Pennsylvania N. Ravi Shankar, materials scientist, Shanti Swarup Bhatnagar laureate Nikesh Arora, CEO at Palo Alto Networks, former president at SoftBank, ex-senior vice president and chief business officer at Google. Currently the highest paid Indian executive in the world. Sahu Ramesh Chandra Jain, was the executive director of Bennett, Coleman & Co., Ltd., chairman of Press Trust of India and the Indian Newspaper Society and the only person to edit both The Times of India and Navbarat Times Ram Sharan consultant, Global Indian of the Year 2010 by Economic Times. L. C. Singh, founder, president and CEO of Nyland. Krishan Kumar Modi, chairman, Modi Group. Krishan Kant, former vice president of India. Ashok Singhal, former president, Vishva Hindu Parishad. Manoj Sinha, minister of state, railways. Veer Bhadra Mishra, professor, founder of Sankat Mochan Foundation and was a Time Magazine's Hero of the Planet recipient in 1999 for his work related to cleaning of the Ganges. Sandeep Pandey, a Ramon Magsaysay awardee who started the Asha for Education Foundation. Satendra Dubey, former assistant project director at the National Highways Authority of India who was murdered after exposing corruption. Satanath Sarangi, activist and founder and manager of Sambhavna Trust a charitable trust for Bhopal disaster victims. Rajiv Dagra, Indian diplomat, author and commentator. Ved Prakash Goyal, former treasurer of the Bharatiya Janata Party and Union Minister of Shipping India. Deepak Ahuja, CFO at Tesla, Inc. Manik Sorkar, award-winning artist and animator. Varun Grover, writer, National Film Award-winning lyricist and songwriter. Famous for writing the songs of gangs of Wasipur. <laughs> 